This video is sponsored by Ren. More on them later. Here we have a cleaner fish. This is a fish we know runs underwater cleaning stations for other fish, removing parasites and dead skin from their clients. However, they are also known to cheat, sometimes eating healthy skin from their clients, which does not end with the happy clientele. Recently, it has been suggested that juveniles of cleaner fish from this particular species can learn socially about the consequences of cheating. This is quite remarkable, given what we think we understand about fish, fish behavior, and cognitive abilities. Social learning, especially associated with other species, is something we usually only attribute to species of higher intellect, like primates, for example, and other mammals. The fact that fish display such complex cognitive abilities challenges our perception of fish as these brainless animals, which is quite cool. So I can't help but wonder how many other amazing species and amazing behaviors are out there yet to be discovered. I am currently at Haus des Meeres, the main aquarium in Vienna, home to hundreds of different species. Worldwide, we have identified more than 240,000 marine species, according to the worms. No, not those worms. These worms. The World Register of Marine Species. That is many more than the number of species housed here at Haus des Meeres. But probably still very far from the total number of species in the ocean. But what even is a species? To discuss that, let's get more comfortable. to the comfort of my room. <laughs> so, what is a species? Most modern textbooks use a definition for species called the biological species concept, which was defined by Ernest Meyer in 1942. And it goes as follows. Species are actually or potentially interbreeding natural populations, which are reproductively isolated from other such groups. This concept of species has been highly debated, because while this biological species concept can be well applied to organisms that reproduce sexually, the same cannot be said for organisms that reproduce otherwise. For example, organisms that reproduce asexually, like bacteria, those with extensive self-fertilization, like some plants and worms, or organisms that freely mate with other species, in other words, hybridize. However, this concept of species is still probably the best human-invented category that we have to group different life forms, at least those that reproduce sexually. So I will be talking about species for the rest of the video, but I wanted it to be understood that the number of species is not everything. And using it as the sole metric to determine biodiversity might underestimate the real diversity that is my desk. <laughs> that is marine life. So with that said, let's continue talking about species. From the 240,308 accepted identified species in the World Register for Marine Species, 237,982 are eukaryotic, 2,211 are prokaryotic, meaning bacteria and archaea, and 115 are viruses. Given what we know about bacteria, these numbers are probably pretty far from the actual diversity of marine microorganisms. These numbers reflect the fact that, well, it's just difficult to study the microorganisms microcosms because it's micro and until very recently we didn't have many tools to do it properly but it also reflects the fact that it is difficult to group bacteria into species. Let's leave microbes for now because if I start talking about those I might not stop and that's not what we want in this video. In 2021 alone around 2200 new species were described according to the worms. Amongst them there were octopuses, starfish, fishes, and even a whale. The number of yearly newly found species has been increasing over the last decade. This is mostly due to greater taxonomic efforts, more people interested in describing new species, and the appearance of new technologies that allow us to go to places that were previously unexplored. This last one probably also explains why we don't see this increase in newly found species per year on land. Because we've explored a higher percentage of land than we have of the oceans. 
In 2011, a study estimated that there are around 2.2 million marine eukaryotic species in the ocean. One year later, in 2012, another study predicted that there are 700,000 to 1 million marine eukaryotic species. This last study presented much more conservative values than the first one in terms of how many species there are in the ocean. However, even then, if accurate, that would mean that as of this year, 2022, we have only identified between one-fourth and one-third of all marine species, at least eukaryotic ones. But of course, because we can't know what we don't know, because we don't know it, these all remain predictions, and we must keep that in mind. I know what you're thinking. <gasps> so there is the possibility that there is some marine monster lurking in the dark. Well, theoretically, yes, but unlikely. While there are probably some larger life forms that we have yet to discover, the majority of unknown species is probably disproportionately composed by macroinvertebrates, like smaller crustaceans, mollusks, worms, and sponges. And we all know that those are friendly. Knowing how many species there are in the ocean is important because it gives us an idea of what we know and also of what we don't know. But that's only the beginning. Discovering the existence of a species is only the beginning to understanding its role and place in marine ecosystems and Earth's cycles. Visiting aquariums and reading all the information about these incredible species might give us the idea that we understand a lot about them, but that's far from the truth. For the majority of described species, including the ones in this aquarium, we know very little about their biology, anatomy, and behavior. So not only do we not know how many species there are in the ocean, for those that we do know, there's still very little we know about them. The more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know. So who knows how much the cleaner fish actually knows. Unfortunately, over the last decades, not only have we found new species, we are also seeing a great decline in the number of species in certain habitats. And a lot of that is, well, you guessed it, climate change. That's why I'm happy that Ren is sponsoring today's video. I don't accept many sponsorships. Um, I mean, it's not like I receive a bazillion of them, but from those that I do receive, I only accept those that I think bring value to you or the world. And that's the case with today's sponsor, REN. REN is a website where you can calculate your carbon footprint and then contribute to projects that are tackling this issue in the front lines. They support carbon removal projects, offsets, and most importantly, in my opinion, projects that work with climate policy. I really like that they are very transparent with what they do with the money people send them. I know exactly what my money is being used for, and I receive regular updates on what they are doing and how the projects we are funding are going. If you also want to contribute, check out the link in my description. The first 100 people to sign up with that link will have 10 extra trees planted in their name. Thank you very much, Ren, for sponsoring today's video. Yes, with that said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I really want to give a huge shout out to my Patreons. They are awesome. And once again, the reason why this channel exists, if you want to check out my Patreon and contribute to what I do here, check it. It's down in my description box. Also my affiliate links for, for if you want to get discount on some pretty cool, awesome stuff. Also, my book is still available for pre-sale, which is awesome and cool, and I, I, I can't, okay. <laughs> and if you buy my book in pre-sale, you can enter the giveaway, which means you just have to fill in this 30-second filling in form that's also down in my description, and you will immediately receive a free ebook with some fun facts, and you might also be the winner of the grand prize, which will appear here. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you once again to my Patreons. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.